The Phoenicians are thought to be the inventors of money. Their cities symbolized wealth, a result of active trade. They were pioneers in smelting and producing bronze goods. The earliest coins made of electrum, an alloy of gold and silver, date back to the 7th century BC. This coinage is credited to the Greek civilization, particularly the Lydians on the western coasts. The Romans first put a living person's image on their coins. It was Julius Caesar's portrait after the 44 War BC. In the Middle Ages, knights didn't carry cash, but wore a special ring. To pay for a room, they imprinted their ring on paper. The innkeeper would later take the bill to the knight's castle for payment. The first case of money forgery was by Polycrates. He started counterfeiting the earliest gold coins. Polycrates made coins with little gold to settle a big debt with the Spartans. This led to war and the assassination of Polycrates. The first English coin, the pence, was introduced by King Offa around 790 AD. The first banknotes appeared in China due to copper shortages in the 9th century. In Europe, paper money appeared 700 years later. There are banknotes with very high denominations in various parts of the world. The highest denomination ever issued was in Hungary, a banknote worth 100 trillion. Zimbabwe also had a high denomination, a 100 trillion local dollar bill, though its value was minimal. Among the most valuable banknotes, the 100 million British pounds note ranked first. The banknote was produced in only 40 pieces. Second place also belongs to the British with the 1 million pound bill, of which 4,000 pieces were printed. Third place is held by the United States with the $100,000 bill, used for settlements between the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury Department. When using coins, you probably haven't paid much attention to their mintages. These mintages vary depending on the denomination and serve to help the blind. In the 16th century, the first silver thalers began to be produced in a mine located in Bohemia. The Spanish version of this coin eventually became the first world currency, and the English later renamed it to the dollar. The concept of the piggy bank originated from a time when banks did not yet exist, and people needed a place to store their savings. They would keep their money in clay jars, and one particular type of clay used for making these jars was known as pig. Meanwhile, the euro was established right before our eyes, designed to be a shared currency for all Europeans. The term euro cents, however, is derived from the Latin word centum, which means 100. There are now 20 countries using the euro, including Austria, Belgium, Cyprus, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Italy, the Netherlands, Ireland, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Portugal, Slovenia, Slovakia, Spain, and Croatia. The Romans were the first coin collectors, dating back to the 100th year of our era. Numismatics is collecting both ancient coins and banknotes. The branch of numismatics focusing solely on the study of coins is exonomics. The most frugal Europeans are the Luxembourgers, with 89% having savings. They are followed by the Dutch at 81%, Austrians at 79%, the French at 76%, and Italians at 74%. Belgium and the United Kingdom each have 72%. Romania is at the bottom, with 51% of citizens having savings. U.S. dollars are not just ordinary banknotes. You can find many references to the nation's freedom, as well as moral and political principles on them. On the obverse side, in addition to the central portrait, there are, among other things, a shield symbolizing integrity. The reverse side is much more attractive. It contains numerous phrases, such as the Latin phrase el pluribus unum, which means one among many, or the phrase in God we trust. American law states no living president can appear on coins to avoid suspicions of monarchy or undue influence. The $100 bill features Benjamin Franklin, a printer, philosopher, and founding father of the United States. He is one of only three non-presidents on U.S. banknotes. Besides Benjamin Franklin, there's Salmon Chase, a Supreme Court Justice, and Alexander Hamilton, Secretary of the Treasury. It's rare to see a woman's image on a coin, making it notable that the first woman on an American coin was an American. It was Isabella, Queen of Spain. Today, a banknote means paper money, 
But this wasn't always the case. In the 17th and 18th centuries, a banknote was a banker's pledge to pay the bearer a certain sum in bullion money. Currently, there are 167 different currencies in circulation globally. The largest minted coin weighed just over a kilogram. A modern counting machine can count up to two and a half thousand coins in one minute of operation. The banknote converter, on the other hand, can convert 100 bills in four seconds and can also detect counterfeits. There are over 1.6 million ATMs worldwide, with one even in Antarctica. The busiest day for cash withdrawals is, unsurprisingly, Fridays. The term bankrupt actually originates from Italian. It comes from the phrase banca rota, which means a broken bench. Early bankers who exchanged, stored, and lent money did business in the public market on benches. If a banker ran out of money or was dishonest, his bench was destroyed, symbolizing his failure in business. The ancient Chinese cut out the heart of any forger of the emperor's currency. In England, a register was kept to record every counterfeiter of banknotes. In 1817, the British government hanged 313 such offenders. A study in the U.S. in 2002 found that 94% of the bills examined carried pathogenic germs. This means they pose a greater threat than public toilets. Each year, more monopoly money is printed than actual currency in the world. Queen Elizabeth II's portrait has been on the currency of over 30 countries. Walter Cavana from California, known as Mr. Plastic Fantastic, owns more than 13,000 credit cards. It's the largest collection globally. Everyone knows that banknotes have various security features. However, the small circles found on currencies like dollars, euros, and pounds, which are called donuts, are shrouded in mystery. These donuts are supposedly capable of shutting down the printer when someone tries to print them. Mark Antony, a Roman leader who was going to visit Cleopatra, took with him an entire team of people specialized in distinguishing counterfeit money. In ancient Rome, forgery was severely punished. Counterfeiters risked being burned alive or thrown to wild animals during public games. Yale researchers taught capuchin monkeys to use money. They quickly learned to buy things, including food and even sex. In the late 1980s, Burma faced an economic crisis because its president, Ne Win, removed all currency not divisible by nine, causing chaos. In the 14th century, Mansa Musa, king of Mali, was the richest man ever with a fortune worth $400 billion today. During World War II, the Germans released over 134 million pounds in Britain, considered among the best counterfeits ever. Virtually impossible to recognize. Flooding Britain with unaccounted cash was expected to destabilize the economy and hamper the war effort. Obol coins in ancient monetary systems were not always the small, flat, and round shapes that we might imagine today. Instead, they were often long, unwieldy rods, sometimes several tens of centimeters in length. This design served a specific purpose. It was meant to discourage the accumulation of wealth, as these cumbersome rods were difficult to store and transport. That's it for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, and see you soon.